host and pathogen interaction. An individual or animal skin and mucous membrane generates an environment for microorganisms to interact with the body. This interaction between the host and the microorganism is referred to as symbiosis. Types of symbiotic relationship There are three types of symbiotic relationship between host and microorganisms that are given below. Mutualism, commensalism, and parasitism. Mutualism in mutualism, both the microorganisms and the body work together. While in the commensalism, either the body or the microorganisms benefit, while the other one is not affected by the interaction. The third one is about to the parasitism. In parasitism, one organism's benefit and the other expense of the other. Host and pathogen interaction The interaction between the host and the pathogen is a very complex relationship and it is based on several steps. The host and pathogen interaction involves several key steps. So, as you can see in this given below diagram, there is a several steps which are involved in the host and pathogen interaction like recognition, invasion, Adherence, colonization, immune response, evasion strategies, disease outcome. These are those steps which are involved in this complex relationship. Now we are going to discuss this one by one. Firstly, we should know about how our infection disease develop. In it, there are a one major step which is about the mechanism of pathogenesis. Pathogenesis is the method by which a disease can develop. Pathogenesis can also occur by pathogen invading and breaching the body barrier in order to multiply and grow. These organisms have mechanisms that will not allow macrophages to destroy them. Macrophages, this is one of the most important element in our immune system which helps to body defense against the pathogens. We can see a very small video of clip in which the macrophages can eat the bacteria. We can discuss it later. They can also evade antibody detections. How are disease develop? How are infectious disease prominent and develop in a human body? It includes five steps. The production of disease occur through a process of steps. The first five mechanisms make up a pathogen invas invasiveness. Mechanism of pathogenesis. This pathogen mechanism is mostly depend on these eight factors. Number one is the transmission, how the pathogen is transferred. The second one is about the adherence, how the pathogen going to be adhered to it, which type of receptors and which type of virulent genes are involved in it. The third one is about the invasion, in which the pathogen are entered into the host cells through which process, either through the infusion or any type of any other process. The fourth one is about the colonization. The fifth one is the avian of host defense, how the immune system cells are going to eliminate the pathogen from the human body. The sixth one is about damage and disease to host tissues. This point is referred to the severity of the infectious disease. Seventh is about exit from the body or it is also known as the step releasing, the releasing of the pathogen in order to infect the new cells. Eighth, survival in the environment. How this bacteria can survive in the environment? So these are those eight steps which are involved in the mechanism of pathogenesis. 
adherence. Once the pathogen has gained access to the body, it must have some means of attaching itself to the host tissue. This attachment is called adherence. As you can see in this diagram, as you can see in this picture, there is a very beautiful visual representation about the host cell and the host cell receptors and about the glycoproteins of the virus. As you can see, there is a blue color which indicates the receptor of the host cells and the red one indicates about the glycoproteins of the virus which are going to attach to the host receptor in order to gain the access into the host cells. Colonization. Colonization is the multiplication of pathogenic organisms where toxins are produced and the normal flora are overcome. Colonization is a process in which the any type of pathogenic micro, micro, uh, microbe, any type of the pathogenic bacteria, virus, any type of fungus which are going to be in our body and start to multiply where they can live and grow. Immune defense. The host immune system recognizes the presence of the pathogen and initiates an immune response to eliminate it. This response involves both innate and adaptive immune mechanisms. As you can see, there is the as you can see there is the neutrophils which are going to killing the bacteria, and there is the macrophages which perform phagocytosis. This is the shape of the macrophages which are going to be engulf this bacteria through the process known as phagocytosis. And the neutrophils are killing the bacteria through its own mechanism. This is the shape of the neutrophils and how it looks like. Cytokines Cytokines are the small proteins that play a vital role in cell signaling during the immune system. In actual, these are the so small proteins that are going to initiate any type of cell in the immune systems to perform its function. Likewise, as you can see in this diagram, there is a different type of the immune cells like the macrophages, lymphocytes, granulocytes, fibroblasts, endothelial cells, smart cells, these all, all are going to release the cytokines in order to initiate the functions of other immune cells. You can see there is a cytokine gene which are going to release the cytokines, a small group of the proteins which are, which are going to initiate the signals of the other genes, which are going to initiate the signals of the other immune cells. So, it is used as a communication between the cells of the immune systems. Infectious disease. Now, uh, we have an idea how a disease develop, how the infectious disease is going to develop, and what are the factors and what are the steps which are going to involve in this whole mechanism. Infectious disease, the basis. An infectious disease is a clinical evident deviation from health. Several different factors influence a microorganism's relationship to its host and level of severity. This includes pathogenicity, virulence, transmissibility, and infectivity. These four are those factors which are involved in which are involved in the infections to become an infectious disease. This period depends on the dose level of microbes, microbe types, virulence, and host health. We are going to discuss these infectious disease factors in a very detail in the slides, in the next slides. Thank you.